Hi, I'm Cassie, and this is my wife, Marissa. It's April 3rd, 2023. We decided this is our year that we're gonna do IVF. We had always said after we had four failed IUIs, we would commit to IVF. We finally paid that let us be on the cycle calendar. We found out that we were on the April and May IVF cycle calendar. And all we kind of needed was Marissa to start her period for the month of April. And tomorrow she will start her birth control. I, I feel like there's like nothing that's really preparing us. I have Pinterested, Googled, researched. Nothing's gonna prepare you for a shot that big. <laughs> a needle that big. That's all I care about. I have nightmares about it. <laughs> so tomorrow you start your um, birth control. And then within a few days, Wednesday, I have to do uh, blood work. I think it's to test your hormone levels and stuff. Yeah. I think that's all the update that we have for now until probably the end of the week. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> What's going on over there? Okay, so we just left the doctors and Marissa had her trial transfer today. Yes. Basically, they used a catheter to um, insert a, like a small amount of dye and water to inflame her uterine lining and to see, like, make sure that there was good flow and nothing was in the way. The doctor feels like it's nothing. She saw like one small thing in one of the ultrasound pictures that she's unsure about. She said that what it could be is a polyp. It's not the greatest news that we want because that would mean Marissa would need a procedure to remove, remove that polyp and then we continue on. But who knows how long that takes and like, you know, what that consists of. So we're hoping her intuition is right and she believes that it's nothing she just has to be super cautious because if there is something in the way and she didn't double check that our ivf transfer and like the entire cycle would be completely wasted because an embryo it's not a safe a safe place for an embryo to grow and it doesn't like that environment and we don't want that but i'm really really hoping that every she's right i'm hoping it's absolutely nothing and we will be just fine and we can continue on. Uh, she's doing birth control right now and baby aspirin for basically the entire month. The 24th, she stops taking birth control. And then that following Friday, which I believe is the 28th, she will get her first baseline scan and the next day, I believe, start injections. The next fun part of this process. <laughs> so uh, that's all the updates that we have at this moment. Till next time. We got good news. We're home. We got a call from the doctor. And we are free to continue on with the IVF cycle. All right. Um, Marissa's at work. But I've been home today waiting on our package. This big box has all of Marissa's IVF medication. So I'm going to do an unboxing. Inside of here are syringes alcohol pads and three different medications just in this bag. Then we have her, her Minipure, I'm not really sure how exactly you say that. Then we have, this one Marissa really <laughs> doesn't wanna do. Here is a bundle of syringes. This is her Gonal um, F injection that she's gonna take. This needs to be kept refrigerated but there's that medication. Her Ovidrol, which I believe, if I remember correctly, this is the trigger shot that she will take. Um, let me move the camera so you can see like all of the things. There's so, there's so many, so many things. It's a little overwhelming, not gonna lie, but uh, we got our medication a week before just to make sure that we we would have it in time. It's really important to do these. They're all very time sensitive. So we got it a week ahead. A week ahead. I'm going to refrigerate what needs to be refrigerated. Everything else will just kind of be set aside. We do not start this medication until next Friday. And we will also have like um, an in-person teaching 
to uh, administer all of these medications and make sure that we're doing it all properly. So that's the unboxing of all the medications for Marissa's IVF cycle. It's exciting, it's nerve wracking, but we are in the thick of it. And I'm just excited to get this part started and over with. <laughs> all right, bye. Baseline day. Are you nervous? No, me neither, not today. Okay, today is April 28th and we are at our baseline scan appointment um, where we find out how many follicles Marissa has in each ovary. And we also had our stem, which is all the medications that she takes, like, um, what do you call that? Injections. I know, but what did we just take? A like teaching. a teaching. Oh yeah, for them to like show us to understand the mixing and all of that of the medications. And in her right ovary, she had 10 follicles. In her left ovary, she had 10 plus follicles. The amount of follicles is greater than 20, and I'm really happy with that number. This is exciting. We go back next Wednesday for um, another day scan to see how everything is going. And tomorrow night, we start her stem meds yeah i don't even know what to say know. i'm like i'm, ready to I'm just really start excited this. i feel like once we once tomorrow comes and we start it everything is going to be like bam 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 yeah which is good are you nervous about me doing your shots terrified <laughs> you've never given anyone a shot you don't nope. know nothing but don't know nothing I, I, i'm scared that, look that hard no but it's probably gonna be easier on you. No, I think it'd be easier if I did it myself. I think it'd be easier if I do it for you. Let me do it for you. Okay, but I'm scared. Okay. You just gotta close your eyes and squeeze your stomach and I'll go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then once it's all out, I'm gonna do it to you. What? That's a good idea. <laughs> we can share needles, it's fine. What are you freaking talking about? Anyways, today's been a good appointment. I'm excited. I like, I can't believe it feels like we've waited for this process to start for so long. And this is totally different. IVF is totally different than IUI. So I am excited to like learn as we go and just, yeah, I don't know. But you're, you're along with the process. So you'll know everything we know <laughs> and experience with us. So wait for tomorrow night when I, I give her her first shot. Okay, bye. Today is Marissa's first day of stimulation medicine. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to pinch your skin and then at a 90 degree I angle. I don't like you doing it. I can, if you want to do it, you can do it. Do you want to do it yourself? I don't know. I'm getting nervous. Okay, me too. So I remove One. the needle, but I'm trying to tell you when I push it down, then I count five seconds. Once I, so it makes sure that it went in. That's what it says. In, in my skin? Okay. <laughs> like I just hang. Oh, All right, come on, hurry okay. up. Okay. You got a lot to work with here. I think I'm shaking. <laughs> you can't shake, I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> Don't look and just squeeze your belly. Squeeze it. <laughs> okay. Baby, come on. Okay. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean All to right. Let's just focus. Don't look. Okay? I think I have to. You don't want to look. You said you don't want to look. Okay? Do I need look to at do Shannon. it? Look at Shannon. Look Shannon in the eyes. No. Do I need to do it? Do you want to do it? You can do it if you want to do I it. I can. Yeah, but you got to just do it. It's going to be easier. Well, don't go. I'm not going to just. You go. Yes. Go. Come you on. You can't pull away from me. Come on. Hurry up. Oh my god. Ew, why did it make that noise? I don't know. <sighs> okay. Day two of Marissa's stems. This is what this thing looks like. Right there. Okay, ready? Q tap on. Alright, where do you want it? Do you feel okay? No, it hurts. Day two, down. Same as the last two days, same dosage. I'm gonna do her 
Gonal F Medicine first. Let's do it. All right, you ready? You still get super nervous I, doing it? I do, yeah. Like it gives me the heebie jeebies kind of. Let me do it to the next one. All right, day three, <laughs> down. And we're only on day four. I know, we got a long. Like, is this for real? Go up a little bit. Like right there, right? Sure. All right, so 225. You feel like I did it wrong? <laughs> you just went at such a dang angle. Well, Look. I'm no professional. Apparently, there's only some spots that you have subcutaneous tissue. Well, look, 95 or 45 degree angle. I did good. How do you know what, what, what measurable angle you were at? Well, I do hair for a living and I angle the hair 45 degrees or 90 degrees all the time. So I know my degrees pretty well. <laughs> you tried to sell that. <laughs> Today is May 2nd and this was Marissa's first ultrasound since starting her medication and the appointment went great. It was amazing. First of all, she has a lot of follicles, which is great. And then second, they were 10, 11, 12s, and she even had one follicle that was 15, measuring 15. And like, that's amazing. They're, they were talking about like probably lowering our dose. We get a call back from them later or on today. Stopping it completely. Yeah, or stopping it completely, which would be nice, but <laughs> there's other medications <laughs> that we start. So all of this is very exciting. She says like, we're right on track for next week to be retrieval. I think the appointment really good. We're gonna wait on a call later on and see what like our next steps are and what type of medications we are or not on. So that's how our appointment went. Oh, a couple of days ago, Marissa went to the doctor for the first like day scan <clears throat> after being on five days worth of stimulation medicine. We were really excited while we were there because the doctor was measuring her follicles and they were they looked really great. And then she had blood work done and we had to wait when we got home for a phone call to let us know if Marissa was going to stop medication, lower her dosage, or anything like that. We got the phone call. The IVF nurse told us that our entire cycle had been canceled. That was pretty devastating. We cried, like, not understanding why. Um, they told her that her estrogen level was extremely high. We have a virtual appointment and I will share with you what our doctor says and like how that um, conversation goes. We got that phone call, like shattered us because we were really hoping for good news and just to continue on and like do the next steps. But once again, here we are. So I guess you just have super ovaries. And I looked at your response to the oral medications and I would have still probably done the same dose. The idea at the beginning is to get some follicles to grow, but apparently, from what I can see, you were excessively sensitive. And so one of our concerns is that your ovaries don't get overstimulated. If you don't get enough follicles and don't get enough eggs, then you don't typically have the best IVF outcome you can. On the other hand, we don't want you to have too many eggs that you don't know what to do with them all later on. What can happen is something called hyperstimulation. What does that really mean? It means at the end of a IVF cycle with these medicines, you your ovaries could swell up and you get fluid in your tummy. Given the fact that you're starting out healthy, we don't want to put you at that risk so that we then have to manage it. Now, like I said, usually it's not that severe, but we can't always predict how sick you might get. And when you go into it healthy, we don't want to make you sick and then make you sick at risk of having major problems happen. And, and then so the solution to making sure that she wouldn't, that wouldn't happen again or possibly happen again um, is to lower her dosage and then be monitored more closely? Yes. Okay. I think you'll be fine on the lower dose. I, I'm not concerned about that. Yeah. <clears throat> All the tears have been cried. I can't cry anymore. Yeah, basically. Can't cry anymore. So we're just going to move along. 
for the highs and lows and moments between, mountains and valleys and rivers and streams, for where you are now and where you will go, for I've always known and I told you so, for nothing is happening and all has gone wrong, it's here in this journey you will learn to be strong. You will get where you're going, landing where you belong. Morgan Harper Nichols.